As crazy as it may seem, Tesla has been making moves in the biotech sector to build a revolutionary bioreactor for RNA. This bioreactor will be manufactured with a biotech firm named Kirvac. Now it may seem like a horrible idea for Tesla to get into biotech, but a deeper look shows that it actually makes sense. In this video, I'm going to explain what Tesla's new RNA bioreactor is and why the move makes sense for Tesla. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. Essentially, what the goal is for RNA manufacturers is to transcribe DNA to RNA. This process requires DNA templates and transcription reactors. Typically, in order to produce RNA molecules, biotech companies have to constantly reuse DNA templates. With Tesla's new machine, this allows companies to repetitively use DNA templates instead of throwing the template away after using it once. This was displayed in a patent filed in June 2019, and since then, the technology has been developed for over a year. Now that there is a worldwide pandemic, the demand for a Tesla bioreactor has never been higher than right now. Elon Musk recognizes this and has recently announced Tesla's building of the microfactories a few days ago. Along with reusing DNA templates, the improved bioreactor may allow for the robust production of RNA with a higher purity profile. Advantages of an automated apparatus for RNA production are that the whole manufacturing process may be robust and reliable, due to minimizing human error in that the production of RNA may be accelerated. Essentially, what we can take from this is that Tesla's new bioreactor makes the RNA production process more efficient and more accurate. This is important not just for Tesla to make money, but also for public health. Tesla stated that further, an acceleration of RNA manufacturing would be highly advantageous and of major importance for public health, especially in the context of pandemic scenarios. Further advantages in that context would be the production of RNA therapeutics in the region of the outbreak which would, however, require a portable RNA production apparatus. The funny thing about this is that Tesla was working on building the bioreactor before the recent pandemic even occurred. As mentioned in the recent quote, the Tesla bioreactor will also be portable, which allows us to bring the RNA bioreactor to the epicenter of the pandemic. These are some pictures in the patent displaying the plan for Tesla's new bioreactor. Essentially, the bioreactor consists of a module for template DNA synthesis, a module for transcribing DNA into RNA comprising said RNA into vitro transcription reactor, and optionally, a module for RNA formulation. Elon Musk is always looking for industries that need disruption, and this is done for the benefit of human society. With Tesla's new RNA bioreactor, Musk's intentions are not to make money, but rather to take the current quality of our healthcare to the next level. If this machine works, it will help us understand medical outbreaks and obtain a vaccine at a faster pace. It will also accelerate the research in important fields needed to extend our lifetime. However, while Elon Musk's intentions aren't to obtain money, it just happens that Tesla's new bioreactor has the potential to make Tesla a boatload full of money. Elon Musk enjoys being in a market that's growing at a fast pace, including electric vehicles, HVACs, and many more. With bioreactors, this is no different. The market share for bioreactors is continuing to grow at the moment. In 2018, the bioreactor's market size was worth $709 million and is expected to grow at a current annual growth rate of 17.6%. The soaring pharmaceutical investments will be the main driver for the global bioreactor market. Additionally, with the recent rush for a vaccine for the worldwide pandemic we are experiencing right now, the bioreactor market will accelerate at an even faster pace. Tesla's new bioreactor will help the company get a piece of the pie while accelerating the race for a vaccine. While Tesla's new bioreactor is certainly exciting, Elon Musk has stated that the microfactories is a side project of Tesla's. Musk also stated that in principle, I think synthetic DNA and RNA has amazing potential. This basically makes the solution to many diseases as a software problem. Let me know what you think about Tesla's recent moves in the bioreactor space in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.